Hey guys and welcome back. In this video, we shall see how to fix this Microsoft Store error. Now there might be many reasons why such an error is occurring in your computer and we are going to see some of the solutions to this problem and I have not made this video in any sequence so you can follow the solutions in any of the order as you seem fit. So let's start with the solutions. I will suggest you to start with the Windows Store Apps Troubleshooter. Now to open that just right click on your start button and then click on settings and then you can just search here for Microsoft Store and then you can click here find and fix problems with Windows Store apps then here I want you to go through the troubleshooter to apply any potential fixes and see if that solves your problem so all you have to do is just click on next and let the troubleshooter identify your problem and let it try to fix it for you. So be sure to go through all the fixes that this troubleshooter is going to show. Now in the next solution or in the next method, I want you to open your Microsoft Store if you are able to open it. If you are not able to launch your Microsoft Store, then you can skip this step. Otherwise, follow it. So just click on your start button and then click on Microsoft Store. Now once it opens up, just click on this account button or the account icon. And from here, you can just sign out. Then close the Microsoft Store. And then open it once again. Now click on this icon that is the sign in icon or the profile icon and then sign in once again use your microsoft account to login into your microsoft store click on continue then check if your problem has been resolved or not in the next step we are going to clear the microsoft store cache now to do that just click on your start button and then search for cmd that is the command prompt then right click on it and then click on run as administrator all right now once the command prompt opens up you just have to type ws reset like this and then just hit enter after that the microsoft store is going to open up so you can check if it has resolved your problem if it has not then in the next step you are going to repair the microsoft store app now to do that just right click on your start button and then click on installed apps now you have to look for microsoft store so just keep scrolling till you find it it's here so just click on this three dots menu and then from here you have to select advanced options now from here just keep scrolling down till you find these two options repair and reset now just click on this repair button and let windows repair your microsoft store now once it has been repaired you will see a small tick next to it then after that click on reset button and it's going to delete the apps data on your device and all the preferences that you have saved and also the sign in details but anyways you can do all of that later also so you can just click on reset button all right now once you see a tick next to the reset also then you can just open your microsoft store and check if it has resolved your problem or not if still the problem persists then in the next step we are going to check your pc's date and time now to do that just right click on your start button and then click on settings then from here you have to click on time and language on the left panel then click on date and time now you have to see whether the time that is being displayed on your computer is correct or not and also check the date as well if both of these details are correct then it's fine but if there is a problem with the date or the time then you can tick mark this option set time automatically let windows set the time and the date for you automatically 
and if this option was on from before then you can turn it off like this and then you can set the date and time manually in this way you can set the date and time manually and then just click on change or you can keep this setting on that is let the window set your time automatically and then click on sync now and let your computer sync the time and the date with the windows server and don't forget to check the time zone also whether the time zone is correct for you or not once you are done with that then just click on time and language to go back to the previous menu then click on this option language and region now here you have to check whether the region that is selected here is correct or not since i am in india so the region selected for me is correct in your case you might want to go through the list if the region that is selected is not correct for you if your windows system clock time changes on its own even after correcting it that means you might need to replace your pc's cmos battery this is the battery that is installed in the motherboard so you might need to change the battery in case the time keeps getting changed on its own now once you are done with that and you have changed the time you should try to check if the windows store app is working correctly or not if you are still having problem with it then in the next step we are going to disable the proxy server now to do that just click on windows button and then you have to search for internet options it's one of the settings of control panel so you just have to click on it then here you will have to look for this tab that is connections and then coming under here you have to click on the LAN settings now make sure that this setting is turned off that is use a proxy server for your LAN make sure that it is off if it was on from before then you should make it off and then click on ok and then click on ok and then try to check if it has solved your problem or not if in case you are still having the problem then you might want to disable or uninstall any VPN software that you are using even after disabling the VPN if you are still getting the same error then you need to run a system file checker scan so to do that you have to open the command prompt in admin mode so I have already opened it up in case if you have closed the command prompt then you can open it by clicking on the start button and then just searching for cmd and then here you have to right click on it and click on run as administrator now before running an sfc scan i want you to type one command i'm going to keep this command in the description of the video so you can directly copy it from there or you can just type it along with me and then just hit enter it might take a while depending on the speed of your computer now once it is done just type sfc space forward slash scan now and hit enter this might also take a while so you might want to sit back and let your computer finish scanning and fixing the problems for you now once the scanning and verification is complete you will get a message something like this or if there was some kind of problem with your computer then it will be fixed the next time you restart your computer then after that you should check if that has resolved your problem or not and still if you are facing the same problem then in the next step we are going to clear the software distribution folder now to do that first of all we have to open the command prompt in admin mode so I'll just click on the start button and then search for CMD and then just right click on it and click on run as administrator now to clear the software distribution folder first of all we have to stop the windows update service now to do that just type net space stop space w u a u s e r v and then just hit enter then after that 
the second command that you have to type is net space stop space bits and then hit enter then after that you can open your windows explorer and then open the c drive and then in the c drive you have to open the windows folder and then you have to look for software distribution and you can see this is the folder that i am talking about so just open it up and then delete everything that is inside all right now once you have deleted everything inside you can return back to your command prompt and now we have to start the windows updater so you have to type net space start space w u a u s e r v and then hit enter it's going to start the windows update service once again now once this is done you can close the windows command prompt and then check if the windows store is working fine or not if still you are not able to resolve your problem then in the last step you can try to reinstall windows and in most of the cases the users have reported that reinstalling windows has resolved this error which they were facing with the microsoft store so that might be a potential resolution but that's a very drastic potential fix so you should only do that as a last resort if all the other alternatives have not worked for you and if you must reinstall windows 11 or 10 you should do it with the reset this pc option with that utility you can restore windows to its factory defaults and preserve your user files although you will need to reinstall the softwares but anyways i hope you were able to solve your problem with the steps that i have showed in this video and if it did solve your problem do let me know in the comment section which of the step worked for you so that the other users can also get benefited from that anyways i'm going to see you in the next video don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching